Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to use paths in Godot. We'll be taking a look at the basic path resource, the path 2D and 3D resources, and I'll go over how to manipulate and use them in the editor, as well as through code. So the first thing we'll be taking a look at is the curve example scene I've made here. I'm just exporting a basic curve resource as a curve. And then since this is a tool script, I can run code in the editor to basically assign an X position and a Y position to a point on the curve. If I click on this node again, you can see I've already defined a curve inside of that property in my properties panel. And I can drag any nodes around inside of this curve resource to further define the behavior of the positioning. I'm gonna delete this node for now and we'll go over how to sample this. So basically the only line you'll need for sampling a curve is this one right here. And this one is using the sample function on the curve. And all we have to do is pass in an X position that we want to use, which will range from zero to one in this case. And it will return a Y position on the curve. So for example, if we pass in 0.5 right here, it will grab the Y position of our X value, which is 0.5 as well. If we passed in 0.25, it would grab this position right here which is something like 0.15. So to see this in action, I'll go back into my 2D view and you can see that we are moving back and forth along that position according to our curve. Now, let's say we add a new point to this curve and we kind of moved it up a bit. It would drastically redefine how our node is moving because of where the Y position is assigned to our X value on the curve. So you can really mess around with this in a lot of different ways. And curves aren't limited to just changing the position as well, since we are literally just getting a value from this. So you can really define different behavior in your game for all sorts of different kinds of mechanics and animations. So next up, we're gonna be looking at the path 2D node. And the reason I'm using this to show off the next resource is because we can use a path follow 2D node with this. So the path 2D has a property called curve and we can define a new curve 2D resource in there and use the tools at the top to create the curve and manipulate the points, as you can see. Let's say we add a point here and dragged it around if you hold down shift on a newly created point, you can add handles, which further define the easing type for the curve. Now I've also attached a script to the path follow 2D node that I've set as a child to the path 2D. And this script just increases our progress property by delta multiplied by a factor of 50. So if we go back here and we enable the processing, you can see that our node moves along the path and it's very easy to change the path for different things like animations. And lastly, we're gonna be looking at the 3D version of this, which works the exact same, except that we are going to add the 3D versions of the nodes instead of 2D. So in our 3D scene, we have the path 3D. And as a child of this, we have the path follow 3D. And then I've just added a mesh instance to display where we are. But if you wanna look at the code, it's basically the same, except that we are extending the path follow 3D node. And then as you can see, um, it works basically the same, but in 3D. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you learned anything new, make sure to drop a like or a comment and consider subscribing. If you need help with anything game dev related or Godot specific, you can join the Discord server linked in the description and we'll try to help you out there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.